Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Cam Cristo and this is the Best of Both Worlds campaign. We, in the last one episode, started our first, honestly, major offensive into land uh, owned at any point by the Soviet Union. No, did, did, did they own this land at any point before the war? Yeah, there we go. There's our first little occupation. This bit here is land that the Soviet Union has owned rather than merely occupied. Because, of course, we owned all of, uh, all of Poland. So, the men are moving to the front from the pocket, and I am going to send a few of them, just a few of them, over to the other front in anticipation of them being most desperately needed if the uh, Allies were to attack again. We have concerning, concerning problems on many fronts, but until the Allies start attacking here or here, at which point it may be too late, we're not going to uh, worry about it too much because we need the men here. <laughs> Um, they are slacking off a bit, and what I said I would do when I, they slacked off, and I meant it, was we would try and defend the Eastern Front with these guys. What I think we'll do is we'll get this army and this army to cover, cover the southern Romanian border, and then these men will go and replace them. You could do with infantry expert. I wanted to check my field marshals to see if there's anything else I could assign. You are fully assigned until you level up, okay, and you could get some infantry expert, which I would like on such a heavy infantry army. Yeah. Could also get 10% max planning, but no, I think infantry expert. If, you, if you've an all infantry army, 15% division attack is objectively better than 10% max planning. No, no, it's not. Sorry, because planning doesn't give you a... I think it is still better, but it, this a full plan bonus, this would give you 10% more attack and breakthrough. Whereas this gives you 15% more just attack. But still, I think that's probably better. Uh, so, you remaining tanks that are staying on this border. With 11 tanks. Give me 11 tanks and a front on which to place them and I shall move mountains. Or in this case, communism. So, you guys. I hear there's a potential in an Estonian pocket. <laughs> that's uh, just something I hear. So, let's move those guys up there and do that, we can probably launch two simultaneous tank offensives. Um, so let's do smaller pockets here, big pockets here, run the risk of getting bogged down in the marsh where we can't really move very quickly. So let's do a, some contained pushes here. Contained pushes with tanks are pretty simple. Uh, all you got to do is just attack three tiles, pick three tiles, like here, Attack here and here, encircle here, kill them, repeat until there are no more Soviets. More or less, you can stop attacking them. Okay, these guys will all move to the front fairly slowly. Uh, it's not really ideal. <clears throat> Let's organize this a bit better. Smaller, lighter colored army to the south. Darker colored army to the north. And we will do this and then this just to get it all nice and ordered. Beautiful. Do do do. Do, 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 do. Okay, and you... Up there. Good. Okay. Anything wrong with this picture? I don't think so. Good. Everyone move in to a new allocated positions. And no attack on the western front, please. Good. All quiet on the western front. Fantastic. Alright, 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 alright. We're still intercepting as much as we can. Um, over the last days, our fighters' loss have dropped to essentially nothing. So as you can see, when the enemy isn't actively fighting us, and we're not actively intercepting their cast, really not a huge amount of fighting is going on over here. Uh, also, not a lot of bombers disrupted, which must mean that they're not sending many uh, heavy bombers against us here. It's mostly just CAS. Oh, that's a big offensive, but not overly concerned. This, on the other hand, concerns me a bit, but it's targeting just Casablanca. So, silly idea. They were doing better maneuvers with landing on both sides. Landing directly on the port. Don't do that. That's what Dieppe showed. That's, uh, at least so Adaway tells me, and I believe him, because he's very clever. <laughs> Alright. Let's get these guys. That's not why I believe him, <laughs> to be clear. You shouldn't believe someone because they're clever. You should believe someone because they're consistently correct and have good reasons to think what they think. Otherwise, you could just be convinced of anything by a clever person. All right. Do, 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 do. Um, a little more. How is my delivery from freaking 
Italy going by convoys. Oh, right, because their capital's on Sardinia. Uh, that's a problem. Not the worst thing in the world, though. Give me all the steel, you freaking dare. Um, no one... Okay, yeah, actually, Bulgaria's a bit close to becoming a colony, which would be bad. Because uh, integrated puppets, of course, give us that... Uh, sorry, puppets give us some factories, I believe. No, they actually don't. Maybe we wouldn't mind him being a colony. He'd give us l quite a bit less trade. I wouldn't like that. Yeah, we should uh, divert just a little bit of our civilian industry to building some military factories in these areas. Which are getting a little independent. Just to, just to top it off. They've got 100% infrastructure anyway because of the resource extraction, so it won't take that long. Do, do, do. Someone said, by the way, you can see uh, exactly the autonomy impact of doing this. Um, uh, so I think I express myself a little badly. Uh, I don't mean you can't see here what the autonomy impact of building in... Where, what's the exact term? Uh, autonomy effect from master building. I know you can see that. What I mean is you can't see the impact of each factory you build. I think that would be a useful thing to see. So you could decide when building a factory, okay, this specific construction project is going to cause X autonomy decrease. I hope that's a bit clearer. Alrighty, righty. Let's go over here. Okay, you guys push there. Look at that. Just, just plowing through them. Beautiful. Our uh, medium tank deficit is decreasing, which is good. We have Right, we built a bunch of self-propelled anti-air, and I haven't used any of it. Um, we did build a template. Uh, do I want more than this? Probably not. I think 100, 150 air attack. It's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Um, let's start switching tanks. Obviously, the ones on this front should get it first. How many will this cost? Take a thousand medium tanks, but not really, because we uh, that just means... We currently have a deficit of that many. We'll actually take less medium tanks than are deployed in these. And uh, we'll take... Oh, not very many self-propelled medium anti-air. Okay, reduce production on the medium anti-air. Uh, and increase it on the mediums themselves. And the production efficiency loss is not as bad because they're just switching from one quite similar thing to the other. We can convert medium twos into anti-air. We don't want to do that. Okay, here are the Mountaineers. Good, 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 good. That's fantastic news. Okay. Um, we'll need you under this guy, I guess. Where are you currently covering? Here? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of southern, isn't it? So that works a bit. You can remain that color, however. So that you are distinguishable from the other armies. That's a horrible looking front line. Let's, let's tweak that a bit. There we go. Uh, so these guys will come down here. And then these guys will leave and go up here and replace the 20s. And the 20s will come down here. And we should be in a pretty good spot. Plus, these mountaineers on the southern front will be useful once we reach the Caucasus, which I intend to encircle and destroy from the north. That always goes well. Um, let's push in here. Do a fairly small pocket. Just annihilate these guys. Including some Norwegian divisions being sent over. Interestingly. Not sure how Norway would feel about fighting alongside communists on this front, but there you go. Let's slightly expand my ambitions of this pocket here to include this tile as well. You know, you don't call, cause nearly as many casualties when you do it this way, but you do cause some, and that's still pretty good. You guys all rush deploying down there. Good, not rush deploying, sorry. Uh, strategically redeploying is what I mean to say. It's the the... I know I say it quite regularly. Shout out to, the, to our Turkish allies. They may not know how to build infrastructure in Trebizond, but they damn well know how to hold back these Soviets. It's sterling work down here. All right. Pushed in there. About to push in there. Marvellous. A little bit of blocking maneuver, please, with only one division because we don't want to win the attack. We just want it to keep going for a little bit here. You should also receive the new orders. Infantry are coming in to hold this tile. And then throw in another one once it looks like the blocking attack is going to lose. They're actually not moving anymore, so that's fine. Problem with those blocking attacks is that... You could, I've already said this quite recently, actually, but... Since you intend to lose, you often take heavy casualties. Because you don't send sufficient 
men to actually, you know, win the fight. I don't mind if they move from here to here, as long as they don't prevent this. Which it looks like they're not going to be able to. So we're going to move in from the south. There's the better t um, <clears throat> fighters. It will crush our production efficiency. But what oil we have... Is it going to cost more oil? No, thank God. Uh, what oil we have really needs to be spent on better planes rather than... Uh, well, that doesn't make sense. You're spending the same oil on less planes if you kill your production efficiency. But it's going to be a long campaign. We need to build these. Uh, engine, please. Engine followed by range. But that range, I think, is already probably fine. So maybe we don't spend it. Maybe we put some on weapons. I've been told... No, you're not supposed to do weapons, are you? I've been told reliability doesn't matter. That might not be the case in a really long campaign, so we'll put a bit into that as well. Alright, make sure you pick the right variant. No. I pressed the wrong button there. Here, alright. So we're producing 7.6 a day. Down to... 3 a day. But they're a lot better. A lot better. And you know the Allies are going to be using those planes over our skies. How long until you can get in there and establish that pocket? Ooh, longer if you're under attack. Two days. Okay, so we just need to block for two days. No attacks on the Western Front. Things are still looking good down here. <clears throat> if we can beat the Soviets, we don't have to push through here, through the ridiculous Allied air cover. We can do all kinds of things to open up new fronts and cause the Allies to bleed themselves out. And once we have enough infantry to man lots of extra fronts, it'll be excellent. So, for example, uh, an obvious one, we can invade Valencia and establish a lovely defensive line along here. Republican Spain isn't going to join the uh, communists if they haven't already, is my opinion. Which means we could uh, yeah, move in here, man this river. That will force them to put men down here. I don't really anticipate doing much maneuvering down here. You know, pushing across these mountains is very tough. But uh, we shall see. We shall see. So these, these tanks, if I attack now... They have massive air superiority still. Well, not in that tile, they don't. Bad example. <laughs> I attack here. They have massive air superiority still. However, my breakthrough isn't affected by it at all. Maybe it's night time. Okay, it's night time. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> Let's wait for it to be daylight. Okay, it's definitely daylight now. I think it's still happening. Let's turn on the day-night cycle. Yeah, it's, it's bright as day. That air attack has entirely negated the impact of 3,000 enemy planes. We have... Oh my god, why didn't we do that earlier? <laughs> oh, I think we might win the campaign, you know. <laughs> yes, I was... I, you know, it's, it's a roller coaster this campaign. This is why this feeling right now is why I really like it when stuff starts going badly. Because then you turn it around. I think we can win. I seriously think we can win. If we get good enough air attack on all our tanks that the enemy air doesn't do anything, that's such a massive change. The cast will still damage us a bit, but not nearly as much. I don't... I, air attack, by the way, something I really don't understand very well. I don't understand exactly what number does what, but I do know that 150 is a crap ton. And I do know that zero negative from enemy air superiority when they have this much on air superiority is a big freaking deal. Oh, yes. Okay, so you guys. <laughs> Not the light tanks. You guys. I think we have enough anti-air to switch you as well. Uh, yep. Definitely do. And you guys too. Oh, you're the ones I just did, actually. Yeah, it's the northern ones. Okay, you guys. Switch over. <laughs> oh, the world is good. There is a god we're going to win. <laughs> uh, all right. You guys, can I afford infantry anti-tank? I can. Obviously, sorry, anti-air. Obviously, the infantry anti-air only gives 15, 10 times less in the way of air defense. But, uh, sorry, in the way of air attack, which will grant us defense from the air. Um, but still, that's pretty good. And we're going to invent better and better lang-based anti-air. And I know what the less generous interpretation of this is, which is, Christo, you complete idiot. If you'd just done that from the beginning, it would have been a stomp. And, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, aren't you glad it went this way? <laughs> I, I am, because <laughs> it was great fun. We need more reconnaissance on our uh, 
for these guys because they kept getting the initiative against us. We also need this and this for the break. Well, I don't know about this actually. I think I'd rather have the soft attack. Better mountaineers would also be nice and better uh, tech from this. But I don't think we can afford to spend a lot doing this because it's a really expensive techs, you know, base 200 day techs. Could also do some of this, but I don't know. We're, we're fighting their planes from the ground these days. Uh, we could invent nukes, but I think that's... Could be fun, but I don't, I don't think it's really worth it. Let's get oil processing. We just need more oil. And then once we finish building these... Let's queue this now, actually. Once we finish building these to reduce autonomy, these to do necessary repairs in key regions, these to defend the key region, let's just have all our factories on synth refineries. And I should have done this probably quite a while ago. Uh, how are we going to do this most easily? Probably by yeah, clicking from the top on the lowest one. Yeah. So let's do this, this, and 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 this. So Ostprusen reclaimed. Glorious. Look at all those new dockyards that are going to do absolutely nothing because we have no oil. <laughs> Still fun. Um, and they will do something shortly because we will shortly have oil. All right, push up that coast, take those two ports. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. <clears throat> Fantastic. Fantastic. There is hope. We may yet come through. <clears throat> Submarines doing damage to us, but the Turkish bombers defending our colonies in the North Sea. Turkey, you legend. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome. All right, there's the pockets. Little micro pocketing strats paying off here. Okay, let's bring you guys north. Why are you attacking? Oh, it's just the Indonesians. Indonesians, not the MVP. They exported a lot of stuff to us, but I don't know. Pax Americana. <laughs> I love reading this text as if it's sarcastic. I love it. We may struggle to find allies in the Americas now. Yeah, totally different. Actually, that's very unfair. We do have Venezuela on side. What the heck? How'd you get there? What? <laughs> what? They pushed forward and then got invaded behind? Sorry, that's, <clears throat> they pushed forward and then there was an invasion behind them, is I suppose how you would say that if you weren't, you know, having problems speaking. Do you still gain XP if your units are out of uh, supply and stuff like that, even if you are way overstacked? I mean, he wouldn't even be overstacked. Let's give these guys a, a general and try and... Yeah, go on. Manstein. Perfect. Let's try and teach Manstein the ways of learning how to fight out of supply just by c commanding these guys in Venezuela for a bit. Excuse me, I have to clear my throat. Um, well, that's funny, but uh, I mean, we were struggling to find allies anyway, not that we were trying. Okay, they're pushing here again, but not a determined push, just one guy. It's when the full frontal assault begins again that my heart is going to leap to my throat. You guys are under supply? Oh god, it's probably because of damn manpower, isn't it? Current fighting strength, 75%, because the manpower is at 75%, because the Italians do not have enough manpower. Yeah, so those, uh, those Italian infantry brigades need reducing. Otherwise, they're going to suffer serious penalties in combat. That should give the Italians enough manpower to, uh, to fill out a few more. Obviously, we're contributing, contributing 90% of the manpower. So how about 75% strength from manpower? Excuse me? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Italy. Integrated puppet. We could just fully integrate them, but, I mean, it would cost a lot of political power that we definitely do not have. Okay, up in the north, things still going pretty well. Some British reinforcement. Excellent. British volunteering to die here. Basically, that's how I, how I see that reinforcement. Um, how is our anti-air? Got 500. Let's put some on the front. We've got it in these 40 wits. We've got it in... Uh, we should give them a slightly different unit icon when they have this. <clears throat> Anti-air. What can we give them? Scythe. They reap. They reap from the skies as well as the land. I mean, wings. Makes sense, right? Um, what looks good for anti-air? Surprise. Lightning for surprise. I kind of like that. I don't know, the lightning one doesn't look that good generally. 
There we go. This is a plane crashing after we shot it down with our anti-air. That's my head cannon. There we go. <laughs> All right. Keep driving them out here. And getting them here. And then these tanks could come east. Just drive these British out. That would be excellent. He's struggling a little bit there because we're attacking with one guy. How many divisions are there there? Just one. It is an American division, so we should probably... Uh, take the time to try and pocket it. That was a naval invasion I heard. Is the top naval invasion on the list the most recent? I feel like it is. Unless I see dangerous naval invasion, though. I'm, I'm usually fine to do that. Oh, there we go. Dangerous naval invasion. So they were naval invading us here. But but last I remember, this was the front line. <laughs> I've Color me confused, basically. I do not know how that happened. Who has an idea? I mean, there, there are various theories, right? Either either they came in, either we pushed past them and then they invaded behind us, which could only have happened if the Venezuelans somehow successfully broke through here. I guess as the US diverted more and more men over here to try and stop us, that's a big naval invasion. I'm glad I clicked away the non-dangerous ones to see these ones further down. That's a big British naval invasion. Britain, you're gonna lose a lot of men for your trouble. Uh, we're not going to stop them from landing. Absolutely not. Quite the contrary, dear sir. Welcome, welcome to, uh, what's this bit called in uh, EU4? Bremen. The whole, this whole re oh, I guess Bremen's technically here. What's this bit? Isn't there Bremen something Lubick? What's that bit? What's it in Mio and Texas? Mio and Texas, I don't remember. Uh, there we go. We need to win this attack. The tanks have arrived. If you can pull back. What happened to you, good sir? <laughs> Missing 400, 700 medium tanks. That's weird. Switching them over like that appears to have put a bunch of the medium tanks into certain divisions. All right, well, you need deleting. <laughs> um, or maybe just pulling back from the front until you reinforce a bit. What happened there? It must be another one over here. It must be some kind of mistake concerning the uh, reinforcement after the... Uh, after I switch the template, but that's, that's very strange. Well, everyone is the new kind now, right? Everyone is, is these. We have no of these. Well, we do still one. Let's uh, have a look for it. Is this the fastest way to look for it? Mm, probably. Where are my tanks? There they are. Uh, well, not really, because I can't distinguish them from each other anymore. Do, 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 do. Okay, you guys should all be the anti-tank. But it's weird how it reassigns all the equipment to the others. I mean, I kind of like it. <laughs> it's it's it means all that. I mean, you are going to lose all your training, actually, aren't you? So why don't we just consolidate you with this division? All right, that attack ended because I pulled out that tank. So you guys resume it. I've never consolidated units before, believe it or not. No, 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 no. Do not do that. Never consolidated units before, believe it or not. But uh, I remember thinking it was really useful for situations like this when things started going badly. So, you two. Consolidation is not possible because they're not of the same template. Excuse me. Yes, they are. Not possible because they are not of the same template. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. I will have switched one of the light tanks to uh, to it. That'll be why. They are of the same template game. All right, maybe I know why I haven't consolidated. That's, that's bizarre. Do I need to wait for a daily tick? Maybe. Let's uh, just make sure we're repelling that naval invasion. Oh, some of them landed in the north. Okay. Didn't expect that. Expected them all to land uh, here and here. Well, that's a little more worrying because they, they're in range of Kiel. We should remember that Kiel is in range of uh, naval invasions from here and hence defend it better. Maybe up here as well, but they very rarely seem to invade here because it's not actually adjacent to any port. And I don't think the AI invades non-adjacent right. to ports, basically. Um, I could throw cav in. Maybe some artillery as well. The Sorry, artillery. Some cas. I think this merits a tank response. Just a small one. Send those guys over. And we can weaken this port defense to strengthen this one in order to stop them. Good, and then we should use some, some infantry as well. Uh, can go over here. 
Good. We will strap redeploy them. It's not that far to go, but still. And just give us total air superiority so their men can't move very quickly. Then give us some ground support. Considering... Did I just have ground, these guys ground support in this area the whole time? I don't think so. What's that? Amazonas naval invasion, maybe? These guys starting out. Oh, might be able to take that one. Considering they're on low org. Another invasion in northwest Germany? Or somewhere else? Is that northwest Africa non-dangerous? Okay, cool. Da, 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 da. There's that American encircled. Destroy him, please. And now the tanks. So I don't understand what happened with this guy. Uh, but I'm going to delete him. No, I do understand. That's right. We, we concluded. He is a... Uh, it was a light tank, which I accidentally switched over. That's okay, because our light tank surplus... Ah, it's pretty good now, actually. That's okay. That light tank surplus can just give keep these two really well supplied for a while. That's fine. All right, you guys. Over here. What's the next plan? Probably a strike south to pocket all these guys. And then we're in... Uh, Soviets? <laughs> I think the Soviets realized their front's buckling and decided to fall back. Fair enough. Um, but it's gonna... We should have told the Americans. Realistic, of course. People historically sometimes didn't tell their allies when they were going to retreat. Usually when they knew that retreat would mean the death of their allies. Like the uh, when the British withdrew from Norway, they didn't give much warning in many cases. A bit more warning in some cases, but almost none in, in others. You guys strike south. Glorious. But just so the, ma the line reflects my actual intention, we're going to do something like that. Pocket all these guys. Good. Okay, so that naval invasion. Tanks in position. Tanks on the offensive, please. Infantry moving in. Actually, infantry on the offensive. Yeah, there we go. Bye-bye, naval invasion. <laughs> when you've no supply and you've no air cover, you've no hope. Do, 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 against against you know decent port defenses. So if your enemy was rubbish at port defenses, then maybe you'd have plenty of hope. But when I'm at least fairly competent against AI port inva naval invasions, anyway. No, the Turks are losing ground again. They actually have gained ground. That's spectacular. <laughs> They've managed to hold what was almost the furthest forward prong of our actual advance there in Trebizond. It's crazy. Their constant fighting has kept the. Uh, Infrastructure in Trebizond low, unfortunately, but uh, still damn impressive. Back up the Indonesians there, see if we can pocket this guy. Maybe not. So if we go in here as well, then maybe. Okay, okay. Uh, what is that? That's an Indonesian attack, not a problem. Every time I see a red bubble on that front, it just <laughs> it's <a> heart palpitations. <laughs> Alright, you guys can get back to the front. It's good that the front is here when the naval invasions are coming here because we've got these tanks. I mean, it'd be better if the front was uh, the coast, but because um, it means we've... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a few planes you have there, allies. <laughs> I really wish you wouldn't put them over northwest Germany. Just saying. You guys can go back to The Hague. But don't, for God's sake, deploy... Okay, overstacking here because of our allies. We'll go down here. And don't do any air security stuff. Just try and intercept some of their bombing. Right, some do, 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 do. Drive them out. Okay, and you right, remaining outside. guys. Should probably all automatically assigning to this front line. That's okay. Another one. Down here. Not just attacking the port. Right. Which means time to scramble. And here I do not want to push them out. Right, here I just want to stop them. So do something like this. And some of you should strat redeploy. Because it'll take them a while to land. And so we can rush people there before they can land. We can perhaps stop the invasion before it truly begins. Panzer Shrek. That will be very useful. Let's get that leg infantry soft attack. A lot of our damage is still caused by infantry, even though we're focusing on tanks. You know, in the defenses at least. There we go. One more English invasion repelled. English casualties reached 1.6 million. 1.17 million. Ours have reached a million. Uh, it's not good. Obviously, there's a higher, but you know the AI's casualties are supposed to be higher. Let's get you here. Yeah. One of you over to Kel. Kel? Kiel, right? Kiel Canal. 
Is it, is it Kiel or Kiel? I'm not sure. Okay, let's... Right. So they've really pulled back from the front. So I suppose it's time for, a, for an advance all the way along. Right, and in the south, it's time for these guys to finally, finally come over here. So congratulations, Kluka. You've been upgraded. You're going to come over here now. I'm going to leave the generals the same, I think. Because... Uh, Who's it over here? This guy's uh, not much better. He has got Trickster. But he's going to come down here. We will change the colours of those armies to reflect their new situation. And we will put them under the other um, the other Field Marshal. That's the thing I really like about the new command structure. You know, these these are what I just did in terms of moving around the generals and moving them around. Are a tactical, it's a tactical decision that you didn't used to make. It didn't used to exist because the sensible, or at least for me it didn't anyway, because the sensible thing to do was just put everyone under uh, under a field marshal. That's how you got the best stats out of it. Whereas now there's extra tactical decisions, and I'm usually in favor of pretty much any extra tactical decision. Did we always hold this tile? Didn't we fall back to here and here? I feel like we didn't always hold that tile. Who is doing this attack? It is actually my divisions. Stop that. <laughs> Do I want to hold this tile? Not really. It's a terrible tile to defend. Uh, here, US, attack this tile for me, would you? I'd like to pull back from it. Okay, more anti-air available. Good. We could put it on the eastern front at this point, but maybe we'll put it on the new units we've just deployed over here. Or actually, those new units... Which ones are they? These ones. Let's put them on the map. No. Let's put some of the less experienced guys up here on the Maginot. And down here. Maybe interspersed with these guys. And we should also make a small change in that we should have the 20 wits. I bet we can afford to do this right now. Not quite. But we should do that. Give all the 20 wits some anti air. It means we don't have to make a big manpower change. We actually have lots of manpower right now. Okay, let's train up some more full-on anti-air then, more divisions then. Gosh, we can afford a lot of them. Good lord, okay. And then we're just a bit short on anti-air. Yeah, let's do that. As soon as we're short on anything but anti-air, we should stop, but... Till then, that seems good. One each, just deploy her here and here. They'll probably deploy simultaneously. The anti-air will be filled out by the time they reach the level of training that where it becomes the shortfall. Okay, so the Soviets are trying a strategical withdrawal uh, in accordance with their new AI. Uh, I wonder where they're going. Um, if they retreat back into their core territory, you know, that's problematic. It's going to be an issue. Wipe them out. Keep moving in here. Good. Okay, we've got our lovely... Mountaineers. Superb. All ready for that push into the Caucasus. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, really, the Soviet front, we could... We should be able to encircle and destroy more or less all of these US divisions that were sent over here. Which, in my mind, would slightly sour the relation <laughs> between the two allies. <laughs> Just the Soviets abandoning all of their allies on the front here. It's, it's pretty pretty good. Alright. You guys can come up from the south. Though really, we should try and break across here as well. Then we can rush down faster from the north. And I'm not attacking them directly because I just want to, I want to pocket them. I want them dead. I don't want them pushed back. Look at all of the troops moving around Belgium. That concerns me. That makes me think they just reassigned a bunch of men here. Perhaps for a push of some variety. <clears throat> it also thinks now is a good time if we wanted to do a bit of a push. But there's nowhere really good to push from except the south. <clears throat> which is not where we have the planes right now. But we could try it. You know, we could... Yes, let's try it. This front is... You know, I'm, I'm dividing my attention, but... It's, it's correct. We need to keep pressure on them. All the play, all the tanks, rather, go on the southmost section. And we're going to see if we can push to the coast and annihilate the US divisions on the front line. 
That would be fabulous. Everything else still looking good? Oh, right, yes, this invasion. That's the one. Right, maybe think, maybe I shouldn't end the episode. I should deal with that first. We didn't manage to get there and hold in time, but we are holding the port, which is pretty good. All you guys do this. And I think you should strat redeploy down here, honestly. You two shouldn't. For the rest of you. Still holding the port. Which means we should be able to break this invasion. You guys, keep some pressure on them, please. And you as soon as you get there. You too as soon as you get there. Good. Not going to attack with the guys in the port because I don't want to risk deorging them. But I do want to keep pressure on them. There we go. Their supply grace has run out. As has their luck. Good. Stop that attack. If they're prepared to attack me rather than march into my empty tiles, well, I mean, are we going to get there first? Probably not. They probably have some air cover in this area. Uh, yep, Northwest Africa, they've got air superiority here. But that's okay, though, as long as we don't get cut off. Ooh, that's a bit bad. We don't want to get cut off. Ooh, yep, they did it from the south. Um, but we still have some supply down here, so it's not a total disaster. <laughs> Christo, 2018. It's not a total disaster, said as if it was a positive. <laughs> but still, I mean... They're going to run out of supply and they're all going to die. Unless they can take a port. They're not going to get to Marrakesh. Marrakesh has these glorious Italian tanks holding down the fort. Some more Romanian divisions. Honestly, yeah, down here. This is where it's at at the moment for our, uh, our puppet forces. Do, 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 do. Okay, lots of little encirclements along the front. Let's just take out their contents. Do. Read the trash. Lovely. Alright, get in here. Okay, and you guys get in there, and you guys get in there. Beautiful! And up here. Look at that. Everything going according to plan. Four pockets are savage simultaneously, and a fifth well on its way. Marvellous. Marvellous. No manpower. Little concerning. Uh, what is this attack? Don't do that. What, what, what caused that? The, the infantry trying to leave? Oh no, they were support attacking. They were probably support attacking an Indonesian guy who decided to try and make a bold crossing. Tanks are all in the south. Okay, so tank push here, seeing if we can do some more damage to the Allied front line with our new covered tanks, which is always good. We'll give that a go in the next episode. Until then, thank you ever so very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye-bye.